Welcome to Powerful Women Revealed. I'm your host, Nicole Perry, and my guest today is Claudia Silva with the Sisters Made Cleaning Company. Claudia is very powerful, but yet very humble. I hope you enjoy the show. So without further ado, here is another Powerful Woman Revealed. Oh, okay. All right, so All right. here we are. We're recording. It's All not right. going to shut off now. All right. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Good afternoon, and welcome to WATD's Powerful Women Revealed. You're invited to enjoy an ongoing series of uplifting, educational, and intimate discussions with local powerful women that have all made the commitment to take their businesses and organizations to a higher level. These entrepreneurs have turned their dreams into reality. They work hard, outshine, and they mean business. These women reveal and share their inspirations, milestones, and successes with your host, Nicole Perry. Good afternoon and welcome to Powerful Women Revealed. I'm your host, Nicole Perry, and today we are talking about time and really saving time and how we can save time. We all need assistance. We all need people to help us in our lives, right? Because we're all busy. Uh, my guest today is the owner of the Sisters Made Cleaning Company. She is located on Cape Cod, but most of her business is throughout the Plymouth County and the South Shore. She has almost 10 years experience in the cleaning business with commercial and residential. And in March of 2014, she decided to launch her own cleaning company. Claudia Silva, welcome to the show. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm oh. so excited. Oh, you are excited and I'm excited to have you here and I'm very excited to promote you because you are very humble, but you are a powerful lady. Thank you. <laughs> so now tell me, you and your sister worked together for years. What made you decide um, to launch your business and have you always uh, lived on the Cape? Because you currently live on the Cape, right? I currently live in Hyannis, yes. Okay. And what made you kind of decide that you really wanted to take it to another level? I work with my sister for probably about over eight years. I work for her. And then okay. I learned everything that I have to learn on a cleaning business. As soon as that I saw that I could fly myself, so I decided to take this step and mm. just work for me. Okay, all right. So, but really, beyond that, you want, you're a leader, right? You're kind of a leader. You're I say a leader. Yes, so. You're, don't, you don't say I guess so. You're a leader in your com community, you're a leader in your church. Yes. You're, you are a natural born leader. So it makes sense that you would want to do this. Yes, I think probably that's the most explanation that I can have. I can, I need to be challenge myself all the time. I yes. am not the person that be seated and waiting for somebody to tell me what to do. Mm. I'm the person that have the hands on it. The way I always encourage people to, let's go, let's do it. We can do it. You know, oh. that I am this type of person. And is she older than you? My sister, one year, one month older than me. Oh, so you're not the oldest. No, she See, is. Neither am I. <laughs> I'm the second. I'm the second. Now, um, you are a U.S. citizen. And, yes, and we just want to touch on this briefly because it's a touchy subject. There's a lot of information out there. Um, why was it important for you to uh, attain your citizenship? I think all the immigrants should have think the same way. It's not easy, mm. but it's possible. Yeah. It's possible. And, and most of the people that you do know, um, or the people that have come to the U.S., they all want to get U.S. citizenship. It's not that they don't want to. It's that we're limiting how many people, correct? That's correct. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, you, and, you know, it's a, it's a hard subject, so we're not going to touch on that. We're talking about powerful women today, and you're powerful because you attained your U.S. citizenship. You came from another country. You learned another language. You started your own business. Yes. That's very powerful. I don't know if I could do the same. If the roles were reversed, I don't know if I could go to another country other than have a vacation and bring a little book with me to make sure I knew some of the main words for bathroom and am I going the right way and all that kind of stuff. But that's really powerful. So I'm proud to know you. Thank and, you. And, I, and I'm definitely proud um, to know that so many people 
want to come to this country and live here and be citizens. I that's that makes me feel proud as, you know, an American. And even my ancestors are not all from here. So we all come from somewhere, right? Correct. Right? So what do they call it? The big bowl of soup? I don't know. What a, I don't know. Something about soup, right? Um, okay. So now, how long was the process for you? Did it take a long time? It do. I think all process takes a long time. Mm -hmm. So I got legally through the work that I, the job that I have at the time. It took about two years and a half. Oh, okay. It's a long process. It's okay. a long process. Okay. And um, now, what do you miss the most about Brazil? I miss my family. Yeah. I miss my family. My, my well, mom. Of course you miss your family. But what about food and things? Because I don't want you to cry. So what about food and things like that? Like different places or things that you, like traditions, anything like that? Do you do you get all of that here? Because yeah. I know there are specialty stores where you can buy certain foods. It, it is. It is. Especially in Hyannis, we have a big community, Brazilian community. So you can oh. find everything from Brazil. Oh. But it's different. In Brazil, uh, the weather. We are tropical weather, so uh, it's always sunny outside. It's yeah. always a good day. It's mm. always a beautiful day outside, so we don't have to wait for summer to do anything. It's always summer. Oh, uh, so what do you think about the winters here? I learned <laughs> to like. <laughs> and you're on Cape Cod, too. Yeah. Now, what brought you to Cape Cod? Uh, I got moved here for work here. Oh. So I got transferred for my, my part-time job. I used to work for a KFC in Taco Bell. So they, they transferred me to work here because oh. I like Cape Cod so much. And I keep talking about him. I always come here to visit. Ah. And then they have a problem issue here at the time. And my boss told me, she wants to move to leave there. I was like, oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. So and then here. now you worked with your sister for a long time. Yes. Okay. And then now you've branched out in your own business. How um, do you have all of this confidence? Where does it come from? Do you have strong parents? Um, where does all this confidence come from? Because it takes a lot of guts. It do. Right? It do. Well, I really believe that um, the Bible said in Jeremiah 17 that those who has the faith in the Lord, they strength us. So I really truly believe that the strength that we have, it, it can come from us. Mm. It has to come to something above us. Mm. So I truly believe that... And you have this whole other um, passion for becoming um, more involved in your church. Yes, I'm starting to be a preacher. Yes, yes. which is really interesting. It is. I and, love it. And, and so what is that process like? Uh, I'm on my third year of theology. It takes, it takes, it takes a lot. It's okay. a lot to learn. It's okay. a lot to learn. Wow. Okay, so third year. When will you you know, get your degree and, and, and become, uh, are you going to be, is it, that will be your title, a preacher or a minister or? A minister. Minister. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. I have a minister in my family. <laughs> <laughs> now you, do you push your beliefs on other people? No, I don't. Yeah. You don't I even talk don't. about it. No, uh, I believe that you have to prove mm. you believe. Mm -hmm. Push people believe it's, it doesn't work. It yeah, really people have to want to. Yes. Why would you want to push your beliefs on somebody? Because I, I feel like when you push things on people, you know, they put walls up. That's correct. And then they, um, you know, they stop listening. Right? Correct. But if you share your, we talked about this, if you share your beliefs in a way that you're passionate about what you believe in, then you almost get people more interested in learning more about your passion and what you do. Yes. And when you prove with your style of life that something is different, people want to be more close to you. People want yeah. to know you more. People want to know what's the difference, what you have from different from this person and this person. And mm. this is when you actually can say something but until then no not pushing mm. not pushing now um what was the scariest thing about becoming an entrepreneur to not be able to do it oh yes oh. it's very scary especially when you look around you it's a lot of other companies that's already been on the market for so long yeah they're so much solid and you just a beginner Mm -hmm. So that's that's very difficult. And the first year of branch now, it's very hard. Mm. It's very hard. Now, were you able to take some of your other previous clients with your sister's business? Because she still has her business. She still have her. You business. just kind of you just kind of went. You still love each other and your yes. family and all of that, but you just did your own separate thing. Yes. Uh, well, she has a small baby, right? She does. She yeah. has my littleness. She's gonna be two years now in August. Okay. All right. So, um, so really, it was that was the scariest thing not to 
to be able to do it Not because be you really to had this strong passion for yes. creating this business. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, when we come back, I want to talk about um, your why because we all have a why of what we do, right? Correct. And and there's that great book out right now that's like the hottest craze. Um, start with why. I don't know the author off the top of my head. I didn't write it down, but um, I hope you'll stay with us. You're listening to Powerful Women Revealed, and my guest is Claudia Silva and her business, or you can contact her at the Sisters Made at gmail.com or 508-360-4892. You're listening to Powerful Women Revealed right here on 95.9 WATD. Women Revealed, we're playing My Baby Goes to Rio. Oh my God, I love that song. Um, when you said you were from Brazil, I was sort of kept thinking, isn't there a Rio song? Isn't there a Rio song? And then I um, Googled it on YouTube, and it's hilarious. We were just telling Ryan and Claudia here, the guy is playing the piano. What's his name? Peter Allen, I go to Rio. You got to go to YouTube, check it out. It's hilarious. Plays the maracas. It's really fun. But I, I, when I was Googling information about it, um, I found out that the um, Olympics are going to be. It's going to be in Brazil. It's going to be in Brazil, 2016. Yes. So I'm probably not going to be able to go. I probably <laughs> won't be able to go either. <laughs> It's really a long, it's a, it's a, it's, I mean, you know, obviously if you have family and you can try to get away, but you know, you would really need to go for like a week or two. Maybe more. Or maybe more. Yes. Mm. And you are from somewhere in the center of Brazil. Yes. Brazil is huge. Brazil is huge. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. my, my state, my state is called Goiás. Okay. So it's right in middle of Brazil. So it's far away from where the Olympics is going to be. Oh, okay. It. Okay. Because they will be in Rio de Janeiro. Yes. Okay. All right, so let's get back to business here. We're talking about your why. Why are you so passionate about your business? Because you even said that one of the things that scared you the most was that you weren't going to be able to do it. What's the difference between having your own business, maybe, and um, working for your sister? Well, when I was working to, with my sister, um, we work very hard. It's we I was working very hard. So then the one day was like, I'm working so hard, but I'm not having time to do other things that I need to do, like mm. parent, for example. Mm. You know, I have to have time for my husband. I have to have time to so many other things. Mm -hmm. So I decide to, why not? Why mm. not to take the step to try it, to mm. be, you know, entrepreneur? Why not? And that way you have employees working with you? I do. Yeah. How many staff do you have? I have four altogether. Okay. And, you know, one of the reasons why I think that you're pretty powerful is because um, you we are in the same group, a BNI group together. And, um, you know, that's a huge step for you. You are, like, taking your business to another level where there are other companies out there that are just happily maintaining word of mouth. They're solely relying on word of mouth. You're relying on word of mouth, which is what you need mm -hmm. to, and this is also a form of word of mouth, radio, um, but you're taking it to another level where you're actually giving yourself an online presence. 
Yes. Like you're online, you're on Facebook with your company information, your company mission, um, and you've joined a networking group. Um, you know, it, I think that's pretty powerful that you're doing all these things. Yes. Uh, one day I said that my goal is to become the biggest cleaning company in the Cape. And somebody laughed at me. Oh, <laughs> so that laughter. Yes, you were brought like, me okay. something. I was like, all right, I'm going to prove to you that I can. Oh, my <laughs> God. I love it. I love it. Because really, when people tell you that you can't have something. Yes. And uh, as you, you said. You even more. When I first uh, got here in USA, it was already a big change. Mm -hmm. It's already a big change. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I got here and I saw that I was able to be here, to learn and to do so many things. I was like, I will be able to do it. And the only thing that we have to focus on a positive. Mm. If there's somebody else dead, why? I will not. Yes, I will. Mm. Maybe it'll take me five to 10 years, but I will. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now, what is one of the biggest challenges in your business now that you've become an entrepreneur? It's to gain the trust of the clients. Because mm, you're insured and bonded. Yes, yes. So, uh, you, you know, that's, not, again, <laughs> very powerful. Yes, but it's something about a big names that people trust more than somebody that's just coming up mm -hmm. that I, I really don't understand. And it's, most of the times, it's more trust to work with a small business like, like me Mm -hmm. because I'm always work with the same team. Big companies hire people over and over again. Sometimes you don't even know who's going to be in your house tomorrow. Yeah, so even though they are insured and bonded. Yes. But yes. it's, yeah, it's that um, familiarity. Yes. You really want to have the same. The steady. Steady, same people coming yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Yes, and gain this trust from the customers. I think this is the most difficult so far. And, you know, why is it important to you to have the online presence? Because um, today it's internet and this, it's very important. Mm -hmm. So the word of mouth, it's something that's huge, but you have to reach the other customers that doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. you know? You so if you just stayed really within your own community, you're not going to branch out yes. and you're not going to be the biggest cleaning company not. on Cape Cod <laughs> <laughs> and beyond. So you go all the way up to Situate. Yes. Yes. Okay. I had, do have a clients in Situate. Duxbury, Marshfield, yes. Yes. Kingston, Plymouth, yes. Situate, all of these yes. towns. So you're all over the place up here every week. Every week. Even, every day. Even in the summer, over even, the bridge. Yes. <laughs> every day. It's a challenge. Every day. So now, how, how have you come so passionate about your business? I saw it about something about help. You know, mm -hmm. it's a lot of people that I'm helping. I'm helping the people that it works for me. They have mm -hmm. to support the family, which is also, it's a mother working. Mm -hmm. They all mother, they have to help the husband to take care of the family. Yeah. I'm helping uh, you that has, is a, is a very busy woman that has no time to take care of and touch everything over I your house. I could not do everything and what I love about you is one time you came in and you cleaned my husband's closet and I said skip that other room we never go in there the dining room or whatever room it was I have a pool table in my dining room it's not even a dining room but I said skip that other room help me out here I used to be able to clean my husband's closet when I was a stay-at-home mom once in a while once every you know spring summer fall whatever I'd go in and help him organize just as a l nice little thing for him to come home from work yeah. and see everything nice and neat and of course you know then it's all over the floor again anyway but um, no I don't have the time and I would not be able to do everything that I do working full-time mm -hmm. you know having the, the four kids running the household I, it's something would have to give yes. and if I'm gonna be cleaning my house then I'm gonna have less time with my family yes. or less time working correct and this is why so I mean I kind of see you as my assistant even though I don't enlist you and hire you and you're not on my payroll mm -hmm. for 40 hours a week but there's many people that do help assist me, um, like yourself, so that I can do the things that I need to do. Yes, and this is the biggest thing, and it's so it's so pay for one that somebody uh, texts me back and say like, "Oh my God, Claudia, did you do this today? Oh my uh, God, you helped me so much. Thank you, thank you. That it's 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 huge. That's a passion. And even on your website, it just the very first thing that pulls up says that you love what you do. I love what we do. We love what we do. Yeah, we love what we do. And it's like immediate gratification. 
Yes. Right? Yes. So how do you feel when you walk into my house? Ugh, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you, you, it, you, you don't, you still tackle everything regardless. Some companies will not touch certain things. Correct. And you come into my house and, uh-oh, Nicole has um, cleaned off her bookshelves and I have about seven boxes of books for, like, children's books that I need to unload and, and give to the Goodwill or church or wherever. But there, in my living room, it's not like you don't clean that area because all of a sudden I've got some stuff there. You're still diving in. You're still cleaning everything. Thing. Yes, we care about our clients. We understand that what we need to be doing, it's going to be done. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're going to help you as much as we can. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go to break shortly, and when we come back, I want to know, um, you know, what sets you apart, really, from the other businesses? Because we know there are certain things that set you apart. You know, you're you're bringing the same team every time. I know you're reliable. I actually switched to you because my previous gal, um, it was it was, I didn't know when she was going to come, and it was always I would text her and I love her dearly. I'm not going to mention her name. Still love her, um, but she wouldn't respond. And you not only respond <laughs> when I email and text you, but then all of a sudden I get a little, hi, Nicole, it's time to come clean, time to get sparkled. <laughs> and so you're like ahead of it for me, which is really appreciative. Um, I just really appreciate that. So when we come back, we're going to talk about what else sets you apart. Does that sound good? That sounds great. All right. We're halfway there. All right. I hope you'll stay with us. You're listening to Powerful Women Revealed. My guest is Claudia Silva, and you can reach her at the Sisters Made at gmail.com. You're listening to 95.9 WATD. Welcome back. You're listening to Powerful Women Revealed. I'm your host, Nicole Perry, and my guest is Claudia Silva, and she has her own business, The Sisters Made Cleaning Company, and you can contact her at thesistersmade at gmail.com. Um, uh, so we want to talk about what else sets you apart, because some of those, the other, we're not going to mention names, because that's not nice, <laughs> but um, some of the other companies that are out there, um, you know, are not insured and bonded, or they have uh, a constant turnover with employees. Um, uh, you know, I kind of, I, I did some Googling, and I saw some responses for some people from some of the bigger companies, and their complaints were um, really long. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, at a certain point, stop reading them, because they were just like, these people were awful, they didn't come on time, they didn't clean anything, some things were left undone. Um, you know, how do you organize with your clients how do you you because you, you said to me when you first came you said I'll do whatever you want yes yes that's that's our big point because a cleaning it can become hard if you make that hard so you have to focus on a positive you mm -hmm. have to focus what's important for you so if I go to your house maybe your closet's not as important as your kids closets so maybe if mm -hmm. I go to somebody else's house the important is the the laundry 
or maybe to organize the closet. You know, I have another client that when I go over her house, she's like, what's the most important for me is to fold my laundry and put it back in a place. Ah, I didn't know you would do laundry. Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. Wow. You'd, you'd be there for three days if you came to my <laughs> house and did laundry. <laughs> There's too much. No, but so really, so you find out what is the most, most important, important thing. Mm -hmm. That's how separate as a part. Because we focus what's important on your house. Because mm. some cleaning companies, um, they have all these, um, not demands, um, but I mean, I've had like a a rules like rules or something like I've had cleaning companies ever since my husband and I moved in together 22 years ago so I hired somebody because he wasn't helping and I wanted somebody to do his share <laughs> so I'm like I'm gonna do my share and I'm just gonna pay somebody to do your share because you're not doing your share and then it, you know we've never gotten away from and really that's kind of one of the things that always gets threatened to get pulled off of the off of the budget is the cleaning and I'm like please no I need the cleaning I need the cleaning so um, but we've had it for a long time because you know I I needed that help yeah. and so throughout the 22 years I mean yes. I've been loyal to some gals that I've had for years and then we moved and different and things like that have happened um, but some gals you know are like you must have the cleaning products we won't use ours y or we must use our own cleaning products we won't use yours um, you know you have to have your vacuum or mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring mine or I will only do every two weeks I won't give you once a month there there's lots of and uh, or maybe they won't climb too high correct um, because you need the ceiling. I mean, I have some high ceilings in my mm -hmm. home. So, you know, this is one of the things that you pride yourself in. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's, uh, it's, it's good. Like I said, everybody has a different needs. Mm. You know, I cannot rule everybody the same. Because it isn't. Everybody has different needs. Everybody has a different style of life. Everybody has a different weight of work. Everybody has, everybody's different. So every time I go to a client, everybody has the different and the special Thanks. So this is how we do. Mm. We get to you. What, what do you need? Mm. What's the most important thing What's to me? What's the most important thing to do at your house? Okay. This is what and we attack. Do you consider your competitors like really your competitors? Because I kind of, I mean, I have, I'm in marketing, advertising mm -hmm. and marketing, radio, but I do other stuff. And, you know, I see other people that are in marketing and advertising. I really don't consider myself competing with anybody but myself <laughs> do you know what I mean yes, yes so do you see your competitors as some of them that you really do truly compete with some of them yes but I think that most of the time not because what we do it's special if you hire a different named a brain a big brain a cleaning company they will not do what we do they will not gonna clean on the top of you cabinets in the kitchen they're not gonna open new closets mm -hmm. they're not gonna fold your clothes they're not gonna move stuff away so dishes you, they're not gonna do dishes they're not gonna do dishes they mm -hmm. will not mm -hmm. they will definitely and my dishwasher is broken right now so every time you come I try to wash everything before you come <laughs> so they won't do that so this, I think that if we look to this point, it, we have no competitors because nobody out there will going to do that. Mm, okay. All right. Well, that's key. You have to set yourself apart. Yes. And, yes. and you're doing that already. Yes, I'm doing in that already. In a year and a half. Yes. Or, you know, I mean, you've got the, the almost 10 years experience, so you know, you know, what people really generally do need. Yes. And then uh, when I was working with my sister, I saw that big need. Because uh, one time I got to a lady and then her kitchen looks beautiful, but then when you open the fridge... You want to cry. I was oh. like, how can we going to leave the kitchen so beautiful? And then inside her fridge looked like this. So it's like, I got to click. It's like, oh, you know why? I'm going to do the cleaning plus whatever they don't do. Mm. Now, how do you stay competitive? Uh, because every time you know that I do this, the word of mouth, it's helping a lot. Uh. And then people change what they have now because everybody wants more. Mm. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants more. But you have to pay. You can't get everything for free. Yes, yes. But then this is, is different. What it goes different about the rate is that people rate our hourly. I don't. I said to a price, for example, your house is going to cost us after the first cleaning. 
Mm -hmm. So then every time I go, I know that I don't have to organize this part no more. Because every time I do, it's already organized, it's already clean. Mm -hmm. And then I attach a different part. So now I work in this part. I mm. organize this place, and I do yeah. this part. And then every time I go again, this don't have to be done, this they ha don't have to be done. So I organize a different part. So when you come back, as soon as you notice, you're going to see that your whole house is clean and organized. Okay. Well, it is in my house. Um, all right. Well, we almost have to go to break. How is it easy for you to schedule and juggle? Because you can do weekly, bi-weekly. You can do monthly, which yes. is for me. You yes. come monthly for me, which I really need every mm -hmm. two weeks. <laughs> Frankly, uh, my house is clean for like three days after you go, and then it's just forget it. Um, but how how easy does the scheduling come to you? Uh, usually, when the people call to me and they see what town they are from, and then I organize all my clients on this town. You know, so and then if you live in a different part of Plymouth, and then you're gonna go to the schedule what's go convenience to you, and then we share the teams. Mm. So, and then my girl's going to work this part, and I work this part, and then I'm going to work with this girl this day, and then I work with this other girl this day, and it's not it's not hard. Yeah, you're making it sound very easy, and it is not easy. <laughs> so, I don't know why you're dismissing that, like it's so easy to do, because it is not. It's, you really have to maintain, how many clients do you have? Oh, I don't even know. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you'll stay with us. You can find Claudia Silva at the sisters made at gmail.com or you can give her a call at 508 360 4892. You're listening to Powerful Women Revealed right here on 959 WATD. Nicole Perry and my guest is Claudia Silva with the Sisters Made Cleaning Company and you know I want to ask you what is your biggest challenge since you've been in a entrepreneur you've been cleaning for 10 years but you've been on your own um, for a year and a half almost what's the biggest challenge is to accommodate all of this because it's I'm growing Mm. So I have to do the schedule, I have to meet the clients, I have to do the payroll, I have mm. to be a wife, I have to be a mother. Yeah. That's my big challenge. Yeah. Well, that's we oh, we all have that challenge. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we now, do. Now, um so you will hire more people. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And what is your biggest accomplishment? Is to be what I am right now. I love your answers. <laughs> oh my God, you're going to make me cry. You're so cute. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see the biggest cleaning company down in Cape Cod. <gasps> With how many people do you see yourself having? Because at a certain point, you can't do the cleaning anymore. Yes. You're going to have to, you know, be the office gal. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes, eventually. Right now, you're doing both. Yes, now I'm doing everything. Yes. Yes. And, um, well, I don't even know. <laughs> well, that's okay. You 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 know that you have a vision. I do. You, your vision is is to be the biggest cleaning company on yes. Cape Cod, and you could figure out how many cleaning companies are there, how many p employees they all have. Yes. And you will surpass it because, yes. especially if I say no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> especially if you tell me I won't. Exactly right. Okay. Now, what do you think is the most important thing to remember um, when owning your own business? It's to trust. 
Mm. Trust, it's very important for me. The people that work for me right now, the girls that work for me right now, mm -hmm. it's somebody that I trust. If I send them over to somebody else's house, it's the same thing that you send in me. I'll take all full responsibility for the girls that works for me. Mm. And I have to say, knock on wood, nothing's broken in my house since you've been coming. No. <laughs> no. No, well, you can't not say that you'll never break anything mm -hmm. um, again knock on I know I'm so superstitious with the knock on wood <laughs> but um, but really you know you're you're doing an excellent job training your staff yes and and every person that you hire you know them yes Yes. Okay. And I actually trained them myself. This is how I learned on the different companies that I work for. If you want something well done, do it yourself, correct? Yes. So I want my girls well trained. So I trained them myself. And when I know they're ready to be by herself, then I let them go. Okay. All right. So they know all the same philosophies. They have all the same philosophies they that do. you have as far as your standards. Yes, they do. Okay. So because they know that you have to give the high expectation. Yes. Oh my God. And you can even, you cleaned my garage. Yes, I did. <laughs> that was a very, very embarrassing thing for me to let you do, I have to say. And it's embarrassing for me to have you come into the home. So the trust is, you know, on both sides. It's both sides. Because you're coming, you're seeing everything under the rug. You're seeing you everything in the cabinets. You're seeing all the crazy stuff. I have teenage boys. And boy, you are helping me in their bathroom because I haven't even gone in there in like three or four years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so there's a trust thing that's happening on both sides yes okay all right now if you could change anything about the cleaning industry what would you change I would change the mindset of the clients the small business is a business that will be competitor with the solid business just give us a chance I know and the smaller businesses you're 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 more competitively priced it is it is than the bigger companies because they price on their name they don't uh, price about the quality of work I know I find it really hard to believe it's been a long time since I've hired one of the big the big wigs um, so I don't really have an experience but I I like I said I just read all the stuff on Google and it was not pleasant at all yes and these are people that are having a one-time clean because they're having a special occasion yes and then oh my god the stories they're like nothing was clean people were on their way and yeah so you do one-time cleanings too we do mm. we do one-time cleaning and we do moving in and out cleaning after construction cleaning oh and then so residential and commercial residential and commercial yes and then moving cleaning moving cleaning ah I don't think I've ever done moving cleaning yes if you just bought a house it needs to be clean before you get to it if you move out of a house before you put in a market, it needs to be clean. Yeah, the house I moved into was pretty clean. When I, well, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, we don't want to think about all that stuff. Okay, now, uh, um, who inspires you? I ask everybody. We have about three more minutes, I think, right? Yeah. My husband inspire me. Okay, all right. Your, no, this is your second husband. Yes. Okay. All right. And he is also in our BNI group yes. together. Yes. You guys are go getters. We are. We're a good team. We You're are a very good, good team. team. I think eventually we're going to be uh, together on the same company. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, ooh, that's something to, good to look forward to. Yes. Oh, yes. My, well, he helped us at our house with some of our issues. But um, yeah, you guys are really great. You're go getters. You guys are out there. You're out there online. You're out there in the community. You're doing a great thing. I'm very proud to know you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very proud to support you, and I'm very proud to promote you. Thank um, you. All right, I think we have one more minute. We are out of time. Oh, I'm so sorry to end this. Oh, oh, we do. Okay, we have a few more minutes. Okay, can we cut that out? <laughs> All right, we do have a couple of more minutes. Um, whether people decide to work with you or not, what do you really want to be most remembered by? Being a good person. Mm. I want to be reminded, doesn't matter if you're going to stay working for me or not, I want you to always remind me that, well, that was a good person. Mm. And, all, good and person. all of the people that you have on your staff. Yes, yes. 
because you don't have to you don't have to work for me you know yeah everybody hire you we don't you, have to hire you we don't have to hire exactly you don't have to hire me but if you do or if you decide don't I want you always to have a good memory about me and about my company mm. and, and then how, how often are you able to meet new clients because you'll give a free consultation I meet I go see a new client every day Every day? Yes, every day I go see a new clients. Really? Yes. So you just quotes. and you're giving quotes every yes. day. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, I could learn a lot from you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we are out of time today. I want to thank you for listening and tuning in to Powerful Women Revealed. You can find all of our gals at PowerfulWomenRevealed.com. Um, again, you can find Claudia at the sit. Now, we didn't give your website because it's a little complicated. What is your website again? Is the Cape Cod Cleaning Company, MA. Is it Cleaning Services? Cleaning Services. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, it's not easy to remember for you. <laughs> Cape Cod Cleaning Services MA. Correct. Um, no, it's Cleaning Services Cape Cod MA. Thank you, Lord, for you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Um, this is why we're pointing you to her Gmail, because your Gmail is the easiest place. The sisters made at gmail.com, um, or you can give Claudia a call, 508-360-4892. Um, I hope you will tune in next week after the news at noon. I'm your host, Nicole Perry. Have a great week, and remember, knowledge is power. I want to thank you so much for watching Powerful Women Revealed. Knowledge is powerful, and my mission is to connect powerful women to you in a fun, entertaining, and educational way. Eight out of 10 entrepreneurs are women, and there are so many women entrepreneurs that deserve to be recognized for their talent, passion, and dedication to their communities. Claudia loves her work and works extremely hard to accommodate her clients' needs. I'm very proud to provide this platform to give Claudia the visibility she wants to be the biggest cleaning company she can be. Regardless of what career you are in, I believe it is vital to communicate who we are and what we stand for in a really powerful way. At Powerful Women Revealed, we are strengthening who we are together, empowering women of all ages to follow their dreams, and we are bringing a spark of inspiration to the career women of our future. I am so proud to promote women in business such as Claudia and to provide this platform that gives the visibility that these women strive for and a voice to share their life purpose. I hope you will tune in next time. Until then, I'm your host, Nicole Perry, and I want to thank you for watching Powerful Women Revealed.